All right, Happy Chevy coming at you with another episode of Fish and Grill. So we got lucky this morning. We got some, we got some uhus. We got some fryers. But tonight, this is what, this is what's our menu. Four point eight eight pound red uhu, fresh. Never touched the freezer. Was swimming, swimming in the water five hours ago. Just got off the water. Kingdoms ready to go. We got our basic garlic salt. This, it goes good with everything. And we got some parsley, gives it a nice kick to it. And you gotta have that black pepper in there. And then this is black bean garlic sauce. This is gonna make that creamy, that that real like Chinese style flavor. Mm, yummy. And this goes on after the fish is done. And we're gonna give the fish a nice little oyster sauce bath before we put it in the oven. Some ginger, some garlic. And of course you gotta have that love chong, you know what I mean? Love chong and ooh is like peanut butter jelly sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Automatic. So first, the lob chong. I like it on the bottom so it cooks first and it and it releases all that oil and all that sweetness from the sausage going into the fish. Give it that extra. And now let's get out the main ingredients. Fresh. That's what you call fresh mm -hmm. off the cooler. I'm gonna start my fillet from right here behind the shoulder, behind the fin, coming up over the forehead, coming down this way, coming down this way. Mm -hmm. Fillet, debone it, put it in nice size fillets. Perfect fillet. That's going around you, what's it? From here to here now, and then come over here, this side, and straight through. All rich, creamy, buttery, skin, oh, filled, filled with fat, omegas. And so with the bone, right, we're gonna save this for later, for another episode. We're gonna make some soup. Okay, now we make the fillets. I'm gonna get it off the, the ribs first. So I'm gonna find the first rib. I'm gonna come across this way. Okay, now I wanna find the spine. It's right in the middle. So right here. So I'm gonna cut it right down the middle over here. Perfect bonus for that. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this into a couple pieces. Perfect serving size. Okay, all ribs. Save that for later. For bonus, skin on. Ooh, it's gonna be delicious. You know that I have all my pieces all set. I'm gonna throw the collars in there too. The collars are delicious. This is actually the meat that actually propels the fish forward. So the meat inside here is rich, filled with omega, filled with fats, a lot of good proteins. Just excellent, excellent meat inside there. First up, garlic salt. I only want to do one side because it's a lot of salt. If I do two sides, it's going to be a little bit too salty you know, with all the ingredients going in. Yeah. One side is good enough. Okay, now a little bit of parsley. You don't have to have, have, to have a whole lot. This gives off that real rich, that floral flavor. So just a little bit will do it. And this is the one two punch black pepper. You need that spice. Not too much, not too little, just for it. You ever played that game Tetris? Yeah, I just gotta find. So I put in like a puzzle piece. Cool. Okay, first. 
oil sauce bath. Just kind of spread it out. It already has a nice salty, creamy flavor to it, so just kind of spread it out evenly. All right, now we got ginger. Not a whole lot, just kind of just spread it around. Oh, it gives, it gives that, that real pingy, just that super, that super, I don't know, that amazing aroma. I don't know how to explain <laughs> ginger. Floral, organic. That healthy aroma. Healthy aroma. Okay, just enough. And last. So this is the overhand puncher here. Amazing, beautiful, magnificent. Oh, scrumptious. This is ready to go in the oven. When it comes out the oven, we're gonna cook some garlic and some oil, top it with some green onion. It's ready to eat. Oh, oh no. So I'm gonna cover it with some foil. Okay, so when the heat comes up in it, it kind of circulates inside, it gives it a nice even cook throughout the whole fish. Ready to go. All right, she's ready to go. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm gonna be checking it between every 10, 15 minutes, I'll be checking it to see how it's cooking. And then when she's ready to come out, I'm gonna start heating up the oil, cooking it with some garlic, and she's ready to go, stay tuned. All right, everything looks just about done. I'm gonna just leave this, leave this off for now. And so what we're gonna do with this, I chopped up the garlic, we're gonna cook the garlic and put the cooked garlic and oil all over the fish after. Soft, flaky, still moist. The skin just, it held all the meat together. Look at that, look how soft that is. And, um, and the black being cooked perfectly on each slice. Look at this color, look at that, look at that. Fall off the bone meat, look at that, perfect. Oh my God, I can't wait to get this on there. Put on the finishing touches and let's get ready to eat it. Already see the garlic's already turning brown, like a nice crispy flavor to it. All that seasoning, all that flavor went into the oil. Watch this, magic. And for the finishing touch. Smells so good. You can smell that garlic instantly. You smell that garlic. Smell the black bean sauce, and you can smell the lap chong oil on the bottom. You can smell all that aroma, all that floral flavor. Oh, amazing. All right, what we have here is our steamed uhu black bean sauce topped with ginger and garlic, complemented with fresh picked ogo, pickled. Then we got our famous. So many salad deluxe topped with Oriental dressing and you know everyone in Hawaii got you and scoop rice topped it one piece of lap chong inside. This is gonna be major, oh no, delicious. Stay tuned, see racha.